13 on your side, political reporter Josh Albertus is here now to break down where we are in the race for president and what we might expect tonight, Josh. Yeah, as you mentioned, Juliet, they've never met face to face on the debate stage before. So while we've seen the back and forth for the last month and a half or so, this is uncharted territory for both campaigns and they seem to agree. Sometimes there's a lot riding on what happens tonight in the lead up to this. A lot of people have been all about the potential contrast in the candidates. Harris's late entrance onto the top spot in this race has her still making herself known to voters. Trump's team has been trying to do the same trying to beat her campaign to it and mold the image of her ticket. And Trump allies painting the contrast uh, is very stark here and many Democrats have painted the contrast in a similar manner. I think it's a, a clear contrast between the Biden Harris administration where over the last four years it's become less secure and more expensive to live in the United States. The anger and the um, <laughs> the meanness in many ways of, of Donald Trump and the Donald Trump presidency. And of course, the fact that he, he, wa he walked away from the presidency, leaving the economy in a shambles. So Josh, narrow this down for us. What could this debate mean for the election here in Michigan? Well, especially in a place like Battleground, Michigan, this race is down to the wire going into tonight with recent polls showing the small last pockets of undecideds and potentially third party voters could make all the difference if they choose to support one of these major parties. We'll be tracking what they have to say on issues top of mind for Michiganders in recent polls, and we'll have a full breakdown of that coming up tonight after the debate. Josh, thank you.